For the Zips Digital Network, Chad Welker here with head coach of women's basketball, Melissa Jackson. And coach, you went one and one last week, big 30 point victory over Ball State. Uh, just couldn't get it uh, going against the Miami Red Hawks on Saturday. But uh, what did you see over those co course of those two games? Yeah, a great win for us um, against Ball State last Wednesday. Uh, came out right from the get-go, had a great first quarter, um, jumped on them early. Uh, was probably one of our most complete games of the year. We played um, really good defensively um, and then was really happy with our offensive execution. Was able to get out in transition a little bit. Um, we had six players score in double figures, um, led by Megan. Um, just a great um, team effort all overall. And then uh, uh, you ha only had Ball State have five points in the first quarter. I know the quarters are kind of new in the women's basketball, but when you get five, only allow five points in the first quarter, that really has to set a tone for the rest of the game. Yeah, it was, you know, and, um, you know, Ball State runs a ton of action and we went over that. And so I was really pleased uh, with how we came out and defended them in man to man and um, just continued, you know, throughout the game. Then we move on to Saturday, Miami Redhawks uh, defeat the Zips on Saturday. Uh, it was our Akron for NACON game, and there's a lot of crowd for the uh, breast cancer awareness. So you had to like the crowd there and uh, just seemed that couldn't get off to that fast start. And then once you guys got rolling, then the, the lid never came off the basket in the third yeah. quarter. Yeah, you know, Miami's number one team in our league for a reason. They're a great defensive team, and, and Megan Duffy does a great job with her, with her group. And we knew that. Um, we knew it was going to be tough to score. They defend the three-point line um, very well, and, you know, we rely a lot on the three. And, um, you know, so, you know, as the game went on, we were able to get to the basket a little bit. Um, but at the end of the day, you have to execute better down the stretch. And uh, I thought we missed um, some timely buckets, um, and then Miami capitalized on them. Haley Renault had a big game on Saturday. At one point, she uh, had most of the points in the first quarter for you guys. Her energy that she brings to the court, uh, you got to love the leadership style that she brings. Yeah, Haley's been great for us all year. Um, she really just brings it every single game, both offensively and defensively. You know, she's someone you can um, absolutely count on. Um, you know, and we need that. We need that from her. We need a, you know, a second scorer, you know, outside of Megan. So um, if she can continue to do that, that'd be great for us. And then a little bit of a struggle from the turnover standpoint. I know you don't like seeing a lot of those in that game against Miami. We did, and they were early on, um, you know, and, and, you know, we got better as, as the, you know, the, the second half rolled around. But uh, we can't give it, you know, the number one team in, in our league, um, you know, unforced turnovers, which, which we did. And so we got to clean that up, you know, in our, our two games, uh, two wins against Western Michigan and Ball State. We did a really good job of uh, low turnovers and taking care of the ball. So we got to get back to that against Eastern Michigan on Saturday. And then the fact that you play Miami one more time, you have to like the fact that you guys could play with, you know, what is the number one team in the conference. Yeah, I thought we defended them really well. They have a great guard in, in Lauren Dickerson, and uh, we threw everybody at her, um, and, and we defended them. Defended the three really well. They only had two threes um, on, on the contest, and uh, they have a very good post player as well in Savannah Klusner. So I uh, was happy with our defensive ever. Got to clean up a little bit on the offensive end next time we see them. Now we get to move into this week, and you head to Eastern Michigan tomorrow, and then you face Buffalo here at home on Saturday. Uh, we've already competed against those two teams. Uh, both didn't get on the winning side of the result, but you had to find some things uh, in playing them. What do we look forward to these next two games? Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to going up to Eastern Michigan. You know, they came in to the jar here and, and I think stole one from us. We didn't come out uh, ready to go. Um, it was probably one of my most disappointing um, efforts of my team all, all year. So a little revenge factor. We got to, um, you know, get back to what we do best. Um, and, and I know Eastern is going to be ready to go. They're going to be hungry for a women, win as well. And, and Buffalo, another uh, you know, great opponent. You know, this league is so tough. And they have a, another really good score in Sierra Dillard. So we're going to have to contain her. Um, and they're a very good rebounding team as well. And speak real quick about the conference. I mean, we've talked about anybody can be beaten any given day. So uh, you have to enjoy watch. If you've enjoyed watching basketball, this is a good conference to watch. Yeah, I mean, last year we had two Sweet 16 teams, and, and I do. I think this year uh, the conference top to bottom is stronger than it was last year. We're ranked seventh right now uh, nationally as far as conferences go. Um, ESPN has us um, three teams getting in right now. So um, it's just a great time to be, you know, in the Men American Conference, and we're competing um, you know, ourselves, you know, so for some, you know, key um, spots, you know, as far as, you know, seating goes and, and postseason play and all that. Appreciate the time as always, Coach. And fans, you can always catch the women's basketball team 
on ESPN Plus tomorrow. That game's at 7 p.m. at Eastern Michigan. And then are right back here at Saint, uh, at James A. Rhodes Arena, rather, uh, at seven, uh, 5 p.m. on Saturday, right after the men take on Miami. So be sure to be here for that game. For Chad Welker and the Zips Digital Network, have a great week. And as always, go Zips.